Yeah! Hold the gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the day. Are you awake? <laughs> and I try things <laughs> so you don't have to. I am at Jack in the Box. They're in operation again. This is actually the Jack in the Box where the old person ran their car through the kitchen. So they're open again. And I'm here to try their Panko Onion Rings. Uh, yeah, could I grab an order of your panko onion rings? Okay, anything else? That'll do it. Alright, Thank you. You're welcome. How are you doing? Uh, how are you? Good. Good. 324. Any size for your onion rings? Um, no, I think I'm good. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Alright, thank you. And this is for your next visit. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye now. Did you notice the guy was looking at me? I think he noticed my glasses. And I'm wondering if that is the reason I got this. This is a card that says have one on me, Jack, and on the reverse side it says one free burger or sandwich, which is very cool. That'll come in handy. It makes me wonder if he thought I was a, a secret shopper or something like that. Okay, so anyway, uh, no need for the clipboard of fluff. It said on their website, these are onion rings with panko coating. It doesn't say which kind of onion they're using. Uh, Walla Walla onions are usually the onion of choice around this area. They're very sweet and just have a ton of flavor. So I'm hoping that's what's in this bag. There's the bag and we got napkins. And there is what they come in. Open this up and reveal the loveliness inside. The odor in the car, the aroma in the car is amazing right now. It's just permeating the inside of my car. There are the onion rings. Let's take a medium sized one. They look like they range in very small to very large. And there is the onion ring itself. Uh, very crispy. It feels very crispy. Let's take a bite. And as you can hear, very crunchy. It doesn't have as much flavor as I would like it to. It has more coating than onion. So I'm not sure. I don't think this is a Walla Walla onion, but the, the coating is just um, overtaking the onion itself. Now that was a thin one. Let's try this fatter one, see if we get more onion. Still about the same. Still a lot more coating than onion. On the plus side, they're hot, made to order, and they're not greasy at all. I think I got spoiled after I tried Burgervilles because their onion rings are huge and they just have big, thick strip of onion in each one. I mean, the gimmick is the panko coating, but the main star of the show in any onion ring should be the onion, and I think they fall short on that. If they used a nice, thick, hearty Walla Walla onion and put the panko coating on that, they would have a sure hit winner. So it's a tad spendy. I got eight onion rings in the pack, and the damage was $2.99 which I think is a little strange because I think I saw the onion ring on the menu listed for $2.79, so I'm not sure where that extra 20 cents was snuck in on me. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Jack in the Box Panko Onion Rings, um, I would give it a high meh. The, the coating is good, but the star like I said, needs to be that onion and it's lacking. And also being on the spendy side, usually onion rings are more expensive than fries, but you can get a value onion ring at Burger King, which is, is good as long as they use newer oil for the same price as a value fry, 99 cents. Would I recommend them? Um, no, you could probably pass on these, but you know, if you're interested, give them a try and let me know what you think. 
down in the comments. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And join me over at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. You can find me on the website at oldnerdreviews.com and over on Old Nerd Gamer. We're playing games over there. We're playing games on Twitch. Link down below if you'd like to join me there. We're having right now a daily series, which I'm thinking of continuing on, called Co Morning Coffee and Hearthstone. So where I talk about coffee and we play a couple of hands of Hearthstone. So anyway, you guys have a freaking awesome day and I'll see you next video. Bye now. Yeah.